Hey guys, this is the person from EU West who I picked for the free coaching. His name is Lemon. He is currently Silver 2. I hope you guys enjoy this session. Okay, so start laning phase good. Go as one auto, one, melee, one me melee down like once or twice. Match their autos if they're going to auto because we want to fight for level 2. We want to auto once to layer the minions HP so it's easier to last hit. You try to go for Q as they're last hitting, which is very good. That's exactly how you want to be using Simja Q. The moment they're locked into like their auto attack animation to go for last hits is when you want to Q. Like, right there is when you want to be queuing, when they're, like, in that auto yeah. attack. Is generally how you want to be queuing as Syndra. I know. Got it. It's, like, right there. Good. Perfect. And you could have focused the other melee, the other melee minion, but it was still fine. The, uh, the melee minion that your, te your minions were actually focusing, but that's it's fine. Oh, yeah. It's not a big deal. You're still getting level 2 first, either way. You're playing a little far back. You don't need to be this far back right now. You could be pressuring her more for CS, looking for more Qs. Like you have, oh, you're yeah. basically full mana right now. Oops. Yeah, that's true. I uh, I usually just try to be just at good, perfect auto attack range for the uh, for the minions. But I suppose I should be. So further. if you have this big a minion wave, you don't need to do that because oh, okay. the only thing she really has for you is stun. That's a Nivea Q, which it's not. Yeah. If you're off, if you're at like the medium point of the queue, it's not too bad to dodge. You should just be staring directly at Anivia and the minions, basically, never looking at yourself. Looking straight uh, at Anivia. The moment you see that like animation come up for Q, that's when you want to be like looking to sidestep or back up or whatever. Yeah, got it, got it. Because fine, crash this. We walk up. Oh, let me total vision. Crash this. We walk up. Perfect. This is honestly pretty perfect. Kane, you wait in the bush, which is perfect outside of Kane's vision. The moment he comes out of the wall, you look for sun. That was perfect. Go back middle immediately. Great, we have red, and you can just straight up walk it. The moment stun's on cooldown, that thing's like, an, I'm pretty sure, like an 8 second cooldown? What is it, early? It's what is it? Okay, what's the... Is it closer to 12? What is this? Rank 1, what is the Nivea Q cooldown? 10? No, I think it's the same as mine. 12 seconds. 12 seconds, yeah. 12 second cooldown. You have a 12 second window. I thought it was closer to 10. You have a 12 second window. Every time her Q's on cooldown, you need to be walking at her, auto attacking her, doing everything. All right. You have every, that's essentially any champion with like CC middle. Every time they use that ability, like Ari Charm, even if it hits you, this is fine. Good. You could trade back here. You could, you could look for like a W there, and then maybe a stun follow up. It was just coming up in time. But this is you're posturing forward. This is good here like this. But yeah, treat it like that for every mid laner. Um, even yeah. champions like Orianna, like it, it's only like a, I want to say a f six second cooldown, six to eight second cooldown early, six second for her Q. Her, her Q yeah, Q, yeah. I want to say six second. I don't know exactly. You can always just look uh, it up in yeah. champ select before, before and go to the wiki did. or whatever. Basically anytime they use anything like that, like a zero Q, for example, uh, Victor Q, Victor laser, LeBlanc W. Mm. Anytime they use their major ability, you want to be walking forward and pressuring them a lot more because they can't trade back with you. Got it. Got it. Okay, good. We checked. We walked. Boarded up us. Check scuttle. That's good. CSN could be a lot better, but that's that's fine. Happens over time. <laughs> oh, I yeah. CS poorly. Too, yeah. Yeah. I've never been good. Oh, on this wave. So I wanted you to since you since you have double buffs. This is like a double buff specific situation. Since you have double buffs for a little while longer, I want you to slow yeah. push this one wave, and then you hard crash the one after this. Because you're full health, you're full mana, you don't need to crash right now. You kind of want to stay until you have enough for, uh, you have Lost Chapter now. But you kind of want to stay until you have, like, Lost Chapter and something else, ideally. And you have your level 6 power spike, you can look for, like, a really big chunk on an idea here. So, like, yeah. this wave would still be in the middle here. The moment this next wave gets here, you'd be looking to, like, trade with Anivia and crash since you have a level advantage and double buff still. Okay, okay. Yeah, that, that does make sense. Yeah, I was just thinking of trying to get it under it so I don't lose too much tempo with having to go back but you but you have tp though that's the whole reason yeah, you take you have tp you can true. always get a free recall off whenever you want yeah I, I, yeah that's true i, I have a um i mean i always think to try and save it as much as possible just so if i get in the best situation but that's just me being if you're gonna dumb. take it use it yeah all right got it you generally ideally you'd want to get two tps off before 14 two tps off to your lane or at least just two tps off before 14 minutes before you get your unleashed tp if you get your first ah. tp off around like four minutes you can get your second tp off around closer to 10 minutes and then your tp will be back up 
for uh, 14 when you have unleashed. Okay, yeah, all right. That makes sense. I like that idea. You get one off, but yeah, but around five minutes ish, then 10 minutes ish. If you have a cosmic insight, I don't think you have a cosmic insight though, so it's longer. No, I know. So you might only get like one off before 14. I think it's a six minute cooldown then without cosmic. Yeah, it's a six minute cooldown. Oh, okay. So you want to get one at like. You can try and like get one really early off or just get one off yeah. at like nine minutes. Hi. Yeah, that, yeah, then what. Then what you said about crashing the second wave would have been pretty good with that TP, yeah. Okay, this is fine. So right here, I want you to control ward Doppush and then regular ward Dragon Pit so the Kane can't look for a sneak on the Dragon. We could have crashed the wave first before we went for the ward. The only problem with that is if Kane's there and Anivia's here, you might get caught out. But it's still fine. So yeah, control warding here and then regular warding like right in front of... And whenever we're control warding, we're always using it on the edge of the bush. Can you see my mouse at all or no? Ah, uh, no. No, I can't. Right like at the very edge of this left side of the bush here. Oh, okay. So yeah, by the fireflies. The, yeah, not fireflies. Uh, by yeah, like the yeah, lily yeah, pad fireflies. things where this like bug is. Oh, yeah, 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 I see, yeah I see. To the left of the bush here, right at the edge, because they can hug this wall right here. And oh. if it's not at the edge of the bush, they'll be in fog of war. And you want to visualize them. Yeah. No, normally, I don't place the ward there either. I just place it in the middle. I just I place there because you said I should look for the. Um, and if we had a ward on here, we would see yeah. him sneaking as well. True. We, you, you would have 1 million percent killed Kane here. Yeah, I would. Oh, and then this is where you went for the stun um, and then didn't R? I might be in. I think this is where you went for the stun and then didn't R. Let's see. Yeah, stun. You can just walk up an R and then back off. Yes. Mm. Yeah. He'd be I one can. shot. He'd be legitimately one shot. Like, Zed yeah, would be the first. Zed still gets the kill, which is fine. Right. I guess it works out yeah. in the end because you get to save R and then Zed ends up getting the kill anyway, but. Yeah, in still, case that didn't happen, yeah. It just makes it easier for Zed. He probably could have yeah. just walked at her and like queued or something and then saved Shadow to maybe look for Lux. Okay, walk back middle. Good, good, good. How much gold do we have? Yeah, we have a thousand. So we want to crash this and then look for reset for boots too. Okay, good. So, I mean, actually, in hindsight, saving TP here would have been better to go top lane, honestly. My thought was we would TP middle, hard clear the wave, and then walk up. But we didn't have enough time because Kane was already there. Because oh, it's Kane. There. So, yeah. <laughs> ideally, I guess, save. I told you TP, but ideally, saving TP there to look for the top play would be better. In hindsight. Hmm. If it's a different jungler yeah, than just, Kane, then he, they wouldn't get there yeah, quite as quick. Just, but. It's just how it is. You don't know what the opponent is doing all the time. Okay, we're clearing, we're back middle. But we definitely could have gotten a kill top if we just TP'd up there instead. That was my fault though, I told you to TP middle. That's, yeah, it's, that was, it happens. Um, but yeah, we got our one TP off by about nine minutes, so now it's gonna be up when at least TP gets up, which is the idea. Since yeah. you don't have Cosmic, if you do have Cosmic Insight, you can generally get like two TPs off. Yeah, but I never like, thought about it, like, having to f make it fit with Unleashed Teleport. Cause you want, you basically want to be looking for, t the moment Unleashed Teleport's up, you want to be looking for like, TP plays to like gank bot lane or something like that to like TP down and look for a play. The moment like the enemy team is under oh. your tower, you just want to like TP to a lane ward or something like that and look for kills on them. Okay. Yeah, I get that. Okay, we crashed enemy under tower here. Your Yasuo didn't come, unfortunately. You look for some chunk on Kane, which is fine. Zed barely doesn't get him. He backs off, it's fine. I ended up just walking away. It got a little sketchy here because Yasuo yeah, didn't come. Yeah, that was weird. That was weird. Fight. That's fine. Okay. Clearing. We should have pinged the top lane a little earlier before because Anivia wasn't here for so long, but she ended up coming middle. And she could have been top lane right now, and your top lane dive would. would oh, I guess it still doesn't work. Yeah, it still doesn't work. Never mind. Even ping, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean. I, that stun was so honestly. Yeah. That stun was like, so you didn't walk in a straight line. You hugged the wall, which is the re only reason the stun landed here. Oh, you like you'll see right here. And then, all right, I'll right. Look. Instead of walking straight up, you hug the wall. Oh, I turned right like, there. Right yes. here, you're hugging the wall instead of walking straight away. Ah, uh, which is the only reason it landed. 
Yeah, I think if you're gonna flash here, then you may as well just back off and just reset. Oh, okay, yeah. If you're going to burn flash there, because now if she gets stunned, you're just dead at any point. Or even if you walk up and get walled off, you're dead. So, like, just dead, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, moment, the moment you lose flash and you're at that HP against someone like Anivia, unless she's already, like, hard crashing the wave, like, you just want to sit back and get the XP, then that's the only reason you could stay. But if, like, the wave's way over here, mm. we just want to back. Be, yeah. All right, that's fair. I get that. I get that. Okay, we back. Lost chapter sorks. Good stun. Really good combo. I, that situation there is ideal. If you get your stun off as her Q is going off, because then she can't reactivate her stun. Oh, she yeah. Stun you. That's like the most ideal situation, what you just did here. As her Q comes out, you get the stun off, so then she can't reactivate it. And as long as you're not at max range of her Q, then you're fine. I actually didn't know that's how her Q worked. I knew yeah, she, she could she presses it, it again, once, um, and then she presses it again to actually stun you. If she doesn't press it again, it just goes the max distance. Uh, and then stuns I, at the max distance. Yeah, I just thought it would stun me if it hit me. No, 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 no. Interesting. That's why Anivia Q is so good into spell shield champions, because you can Anivia Q to break the spell shield and then also get the stun off. So, like, because the traveling oh. through you does damage. <laughs> ah, so, see, like, yeah. if Sivir tries to spell shield it, for example, the damage will tick her spell shield, and then you activate Q closer to the end of it, and the stun will still land. Mm. Same with, like, yeah. Nocturne spell shield, Banshee's Bell, or anything like that. That's why Banshee's yeah. isn't great into, like, someone like Anivia. Oh, okay. Okay, we walked up, we tried, it was fine, they ended up making the play work. Mm -hmm. So we looked, for the plate crash. Mm -hmm. Good. We get two plates here, fantastic. We're up a good chunk of gold here. Yeah. You're up There's 500 gold here on her right now. We look for Drake, this is fine. Okay, the bot, oh wait, 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 this is that play, never mind. Wait, 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 this is that play. I thought this was the free dragon, it is not. Okay, we pull back, your bot lane's coming, which is good. Good stun on Kane. Perfect pop. That was, yeah, good. That was fine. I think still Ring there is fine. Alright. Yeah, I just okay. want him gone. And right here, we want to be focusing the dragon, mostly. Kiting up and focusing the dragon. Why can't I see the dragon's HP bar? Okay, whatever. <laughs> we want to be cutting up, because like after you've used your stun and ult, you want to be cutting up just looking for the dragon, because they don't have smite up. You do. You want to be getting dragon and just leaving immediately. Alright. Oops. Okay, let me hard crash this and reset. Good. Oh, right. I told you were oh, really yeah. close to Leandri's. That's why I told you to stay. Yeah, that's fine. You were like, this is fun. So, yeah, always, oh, whenever you're doing raptors, kite away. You don't need to be here. Like, there's there's yeah. a circle. They can You can kite them out of the circle, and they won't immediately reset. Yeah, the worst part is a node. I just got it for some reason. Like, I always do it when I play jungle. But... Yeah. Yeah, just do it when you play mid lane. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Now you have Leandri's, you have Unleashed TP up now. So when Unleashed TP is up, you want to be perma looking at your side lanes. You can always type oh. to your support to like lane ward. Like tell them to ward one of the brush in lane. Because you yep. can always just TP. Like right here, if there was a ward in this bush, you'd kill Kai'Sa. Yeah. If your bot lane was here. Like if there's a petite ward right in this dot bush here. Mm. Oops. What the fuck? Mm. What just happened? Yeah, we just went backwards a bit. What? For some reason. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is fine. We see bot getting dove. We always want to be keeping our eyes open to like TP into this. Okay, Ken ends up walking down. You're fine here. But this is why we need to be like constantly looking. It's okay to like click yeah. with your mouse. You don't need to use the F keys. I think that's too much at this point. How do you manage to actually look around CS and make sure you don't? Just die at the same time. Quickly that's, look. That's like, hmm? okay, wait. Let me. What's the what's the what's the button for you? Oh. Okay, let's just imagine that I'm Velkaz here. Okay, wait. What's yeah. it? R, U, E. <laughs> no what button sure. makes you go to Vel? Okay, whatever. T makes me go to Velkaz. Okay, let's imagine you're Velkaz in whatever situation. Basically, the way mm -hmm. I think about it is, you want to be looking at your mini map every yeah. time you go for a last hit. Every time you yeah. right-click to get that auto-attack in, you're looking at your minimap for a split second. Or you could also move your mouse down and then can't lock your camera back to you. I can show you. I'll show you after practice. Tool. I'll show you yeah, after this. Sure. Yeah, what, are we, what happened here? Like, I feel like whenever I do quickly 
quick pan the, the camera down do it while board. you're already in the animation of doing something else like let's say you're in the middle of auto attacking a minion that's when you want to be looking or like yeah. you just went for a combo and you're backing up from the combo you can look then okay. but you can use your minimap most of the time you want to be like looking at your minimap constantly and then if you see mm. enemy teammates enemy enemies and your teammates like fighting then then you can move your camera over for the most part but use your oh, minimap okay. constantly like, con like literally yeah. you should be looking at your minimap every like three seconds ideally probably less mm. like constantly just glance yeah. down for like a split second and then look back. I also understand. It's just I feel like when I like if I pan my camera down, it goes so fast I don't really register it. You only really look like so you're using you're looking at your minimap for like like a quarter of a second just to see yeah. if like there's anybody there. You're just basically looking to see if there's anybody on your team and the enemy team very close together and looking like they're fighting. Then you can think about moving your camera over for the most part. Okay. So like right now, I'm just you're just constantly looking at your minimap. You don't really need. You're doing nothing, so now would be an okay time to like look down for a split second. Or yeah. just walking around doing nothing. This would be an easy time. Uh, uh, do you have spacebar locked to uh, to uh, like center your camera? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I do. I do. So yeah, you're just like clicking down on the minimap and then hitting spacebar to like bring it right back to you. Yeah. It's like. So my uh, my space is just to lock onto my character. So so well, uh, camera lock, not just. Put all my just, yeah, yeah, no, it's just like if you hold it, it locks the camera, but like sp just tapping spacebar brings it back to you. No, no, it's locked. If I click it, it locks on me. And then if you press it again, does it unlock? Yeah. So uh, if I have to do that, I'll like double click. It's okay, weird okay. because when, when I'm in fight, I I can't. Control do you like my it that way? Because you changed it. the default is not what is not that, so that means you have to have changed it to that. Yeah, I changed it because um, whenever I fought. Well, in, in fights, like if I if I couldn't move my camera and fight at the same time, and it feels weird to keep spacebar down and use abilities for some reason. That's so what just I do. I just kind of hold spacebar. I just kind of let my thumb weight rest on spacebar, and I like press all my abilities. Cause you can let your thumb like slide all the way like left and right on spacebar. Like treat it like your thumb is like on a track, and like your thumb's like the wheel gliding along the track. <laughs> it's like push down the spacebar. You can slide your fingers like all the way across your spacebar. But like keyboard while still holding spacebar. Yeah, I'll try it, I suppose. Because something that I do is I have Alt Q W E R as my like normal casts because I quick cast yeah. by default, and then I press Alt Q W E R to like normal cast whenever I want to like see the range mm. of my ability. Yeah, same, same. So like, if you can move your thumb over to Alt while still pressing Q W E R, like I just slide my thumb to the left, I kind of bend it and slide to the left and just press Alt and then whatever. Then holding spacebar while you fight shouldn't feel too bad. No. Yeah, this was good. We uh, walked up here. They get tower. Yeah. This is all fine. Yeah, I, ha I have the um. So I got six buttons on the side of a mouse, and I use like of those, three yeah. of them. Yeah. Have I one of two have of, one of those be the... uh, be your lock camera then. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. Two of them is for top lane, bot lane. Last one is for me. But that's just to you know pan to me. And oh, okay, okay. Me. That's like that's what you use as instead of F one two three four, you use your yeah. mouse buttons. Yeah, okay, the, okay. The F one is far too far away. Like it's too yeah. far away. Can be. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> fair. That's fair. Okay, yeah, that's good. If you use those, then that's fine too. You can just click them and then like. Yeah, I, it, it's a new bind, so I have to get used to it. So I think yeah. I did it like a week okay. ago or something. That's fair. Okay, we walk up here. I wanted you to just ward here and keep walking, and I wanted you yeah. to check all the brush to like see you. I want you to like ward one Q one E one. Because, oh, okay. like, yeah, we ward. Yeah. Just, he just oh, gets away. Oh, so, like, if you're oh, here, okay. you could ward, the, like, for example, ward the middle bush. You don't see him, you QE this bush. If you didn't stop the back, then look for a Q in alcove. Oh, okay. Just try to utilize everything that you have to potentially stop a back. Shut down. Oh, okay. Okay, we're top of team fighting. They die. Oh, well. Honestly, not much for you to do there. We rock middle, though. Oh, vision. So there we go. This was good. This was really good. So yeah, you ulting here is actually good. You ulting there is actually really good. Because right. I didn't want you in Zed to layer ultimates. I didn't want you in Zed to layer ultimates. That's the, I was worried Zed was going to ult the Volibear, but he ends up saving it for any of you, which is perfect. One oh, of you has to ult one of you, and one person has to ult the other person. It's just hard to communicate that. Yeah. It just ended up working out in this situation. Yeah, pure luck. Okay, <laughs> we back hey, up here. We back. buy. You're an absolute, like, you're absolutely a monster. You're 614. You have two items that... Oh. And you, yeah, you could have gotten this done on luck sooner, but they yeah. ends up dying anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. Because yeah, it's just a root. Stupid. Morgana bind root. Mm -hmm. Lux Q root. Oh, mm -hmm. is the Morgana also one? Yeah. Her Q. Yep, Morgana Q is a root. Morgana oh. alt is a stun. Oh. 
the alt pop like after the couple seconds yeah. of the tether. Mm. That, that is not a problem. LeBlanc like, chain I... is a root. Uh, Karma W is a root. Oh. All those oh. things you can cast abilities and use whatever you want. Other than, you can't use flash when you're rooted, but like no, no, you yeah, can use Zanya's or abilities and whatever. Yeah, I get you. I, yeah, and that's one of my problems. I keep forgetting what some champs do. Yeah, that's fair. It takes yeah, a while. It's so annoying. Abilities. Yeah, well, I played this game for. Three years, right now. Okay, that's fair. Okay, that's, yeah, that's a bit much. Okay. Uh, I'd say it should take like six months to a year to learn what most champs do for the most part. Yeah, yeah. and then like I you could have already came the entire yeah, time. Yeah, right? th that's why I tried to go back right there to get them. Right. Wow. Yeah, just a weird. Barely I a live from Lux because Lux didn't reactivate her E. Lux could have killed you there, but if she reactivated yes. E before she died, that was pure luck. Yeah, that was pure luck. Okay, we look for good stun from Bully. So uh, ideally, you want to wait till after he ults. But if you can do it from Fog of War like that, that's good. Especially in Silver, I don't think players are gonna have a like brain to oh, ult no. over your stun or something. No, I don't I think didn't. he did it once the entire game. Yep, we grab this, reset, start walking top lane. But Ezreal comes for some reason, so we go back middle. It's fine. Sure. Yeah, clear jungle camp. Oh, good. No, no, no. And you want to be this cutting toward the yeah, kiting. Okay, wait. You this could have been to this tower already, like, so, yeah, let me see. Uh, what, what the heck? What did I press to make the thing go away? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, time control. So, right... Okay, we're doing... Yep, good. Want to be cutting towards the bush, not down. Yeah. Because we see three mid... We see two middle, three middle. Want to be cutting up here towards the bush. So, you could already be, like, here right now. And you could already be like QEing this wave here. Yeah, I could. And this is where I and try to kill him. And then you try to walk up to King, yeah. The moment you land the stun, you're not like. You, yeah. Like, just look for the stun. You're not getting a kill there. That's, that's very unlikely. No, yeah. You can't be the one to like engage on your team. Like, looking for picks is great. You can't be the one to like frontline essentially, unless somebody else is already like starting the fight. Nah, no, I get you. So, like, stun, you want to be looking for E's and W's because those are your longer range abilities, really. And that's one reason why buying Zonya's second, or sorry, buying Zonya's second here could have been potentially better than Shadow Flame as well. Yeah. You can always Zonya's the um, Anivia stun before it hits you. Yeah, could as well. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I like going. So the reason you can build. Building pure damage is technically the best way to build if you're going to position and move flawlessly. The thing about Zanya's is, yeah, you don't have as much damage, but it gives you like a get out of jail free card for messing up. Essentially, if you're not the only source of damage on your team, like you have a Zed here, you have an Ezreal, you have a Velcos, they're all doing great. You don't need to deal one v nine damage really this game. So like, I personally would have won Zanya's because it gives you like that little bit of safety. Mm. Okay, we push, we push. We see Volley. We also see Kane looking bot. I think here. Yep, there's Kane. Yeah, we should walk towards Kane here. I kind of wanted you to just go for Volibear, but then your team ended up fighting, so like, sure, whatever, you're here. Almost landed the stun on him, and right now, after that stun misses, we kind of just want to walk back to bot lane immediately. Walking middle, the only reason we stayed walking middle here, like, walking middle I don't think is the correct play, but it looked like your team was really going to fight and you were already close enough, so that's why I think walking over was maybe okay. Ideally, you wanted to just kill Volibear on the side lane here, because you absolutely can 1v1 him. Yeah. And you basically you almost do here. You get the sun. We saw him. We saw him on the mini map here, by the way, which is why I called it out. Look here. Oh, okay. You, yeah, I did not see that. So look, look at the mini map. You'll yeah. see him here for like a split second when you walk up. There. You see him oh, there? Oh, whoa. Yeah. So that's why I, I was assuming he was walking it. middle, but yeah. he ended up bush using. So nice, good stun. You checked the bush with stun, which is good. You could have just stayed on him. I don't think you need to back away like that. No. You have a stopwatch. Like I don't yeah. think. Nash is just going in. I don't know if he can one-shot you, honestly. With Nash's Titanic, I actually don't know if he can one-shot you. No. I feel like maybe, because he's level 16 as well. But oh, yeah. I think well, if well, you get R off, he's dead. Because you're at you're at over 100 splinters, right? Yeah. How do I, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to see how many splinters you have. Uh, I'm full. If it's you're just full. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, then, yeah, full. you're full. Then you're full. Yeah, you have your R execute. Yeah, you yeah. actually just easily... Yeah, you don't need to back up at all. No. Q, yeah, E, he... W, alt. He's dead. <laughs> Even if he gets his R yeah. off, I'm pretty sure he's dead with the alt execute. 
Yeah, it should be. Like when I when I saw that um, that AOE attack and him wanting to watch me, I figured he would try to stun me. So I wanted to go a bit back to see. If you can get your R. You can if you press R just before the stun goes off, it'll still go off while you're stunned. Yeah, I know. So like, you should be fine there. Yeah, I should have I'm just gone. In. Especially with stopwatch. Worst case scenario, you don't get your R off before you're stunned, and then, like, as long as you don't get one shot, which I don't think you do, it's close, but I don't think you do, because he does have Titanic and Nashers, so he does hurt, but I don't think that's enough to one-shot you at this point. It's enough to probably do, like, 60 to 80% of your life, I imagine. Okay, yeah, this is fine, we're backing up, yep, looking for poke, it's fine, that goes for whatever, sure. We didn't want to walk too far forward there because we don't want to get a Niviad. You probably could have gotten Kane there, but it's fine. You missed it. Whatever yeah. happens. We knew they were going to come down from Tribush based on how they were pathing. And Nivea right here is stun range, yeah. That's a QE ult yeah, and a Nivea is in egg. And she's like probably 80% health in egg. So you, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, Unless yeah. she gets Zhonya's off, she's... Even if she doesn't... Even if she's Zhonya's, like, your ulti... She should still basically be going into egg right after it. Okay, and there's honestly not much fails for you to do here. You didn't get your R off, honestly. Actually, yeah, that's really bad, actually. You could have killed Volley there, I think. Yeah, I could. So, like, let's go mm. back. I forgot that you didn't get your ulti off. So, at first, obviously, ideal like, stunning. And maybe you had the Q set up and everything. But then you do go for the... Oh, your stun's not up right now because you went for Kamer. All right. Yeah, stun, that stun was fine. Good flash. Should I have, Q, should I have flash towards set? Yeah. Eh, no, because I think that you might take aggro of drag. I think flashing up's fine. You just could have gotten your R off, though. And the fight was kind of doomed after you threw your stun at the cane, I think. Uh, yeah. Right there, you just threw your stun. Okay, wait. Yeah. Let's go back a little farther. So right here, the moment you threw stun at cane, I think like you're just kind of screwed. There's two main big So yeah, throwing the stun, yeah, and then walking after the Anu. So this is, okay, sure, you went for it, whatever it missed, okay. Fine. That's, you're actually still okay here. Walking up after the Anivia, right? He, there. Going for that W on Anivia was bad. Well, the moment you go for the W on Anivia, I think you're, it's doomed. Because oh. you're in Volibear's range. You need to be, like, looking for the W on Volibear, not the Anivia. Yeah. And getting ult off. You would have slowed the Volibear, so he wouldn't have been able to get on you quite as easily. He probably would have R'd sooner. And then you could have just flashed that. You probably get Volibear and maybe have a chance of fighting with Zed. Okay, he skips it good, but it's Baron, yep. Yeah, this is fine. How do I how do I assess who to go after? So like in, in that situation down there, I was just thinking You hit whoever is I, essentially if, closest to you. You have Leandri, you do enough damage to kill everybody on the enemy team. You hit whoever's you, you treat it like you're an AD carry and just kite and hit whoever's closest uh, to you. Okay. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I was just thinking if I could remove Kane so they don't have flat uh, smite. Kane's already low. Kane's already like uh, one shot. Like, yeah. If he goes in any like ZQ kills him, Ezreal Q kills him, they'll cause uh, Q yeah. or E kills him or W, whatever. Yeah. Okay, your team's right. out here or whatever. You can't control that. You back off though, you just hold base. This is good. You went for E here nicely. This is okay. You're just looking for Q's and W's in the wave. You should be Wing this melee minion away a little bit. Just throwing the melee minion, so it just stops from them from taking tower. You don't want to walk into the Volibear when he's running at you like that. It's so alright. He... Right here, I'm Wing this minion and throwing it on the, like, the Lux. Yeah. And then just kiting back. If Volibear's running at you, you do not walk into him as he's running at you. You're just continuously walking away. Zhonya's here. Oh, you didn't get Zhonya. You got Zhonya's off after the Lux ultimate. You weren't stunned, right? Uh, I Let's actually see. don't remember. Let's see. Right here, I'd be zonging. You All get right. your zonging off late, and then you're just dead. And you, you got R off that time, right? You did get R off at least. I, I, I think I did, yeah. Yeah, you did. It's on cooldown. At least you got R off. But yeah, when a Volibear's running at you, you do not like walk at him. You do not no. like <laughs> yeah. give him an easier time. That's just poor reaction time by me. That's why you need to be clicking closer to your champion and faster. We haven't used TP like hardly at all this game, so I think TPing down here for the tower is fine. Yeah, we get a free tower, we get a little bit of gold back in our pockets. 
We're only down like 1k gold here, 1.5. I think that TP's fine. Walking up here in super int. Mega int. Yeah. Let's go back. So right, this is pathing this way in the first place a little greedy. But since you are here, blue tranking the red buff and look for just like an acute E over the wall and then back off. Walking to the bush is super int. You could have already been with Velkaz right now if you just went for a yeah, QE and you wouldn't have gotten walled off. And then you're just kind of, yeah, you're just kind of doomed here. But again, I don't think you got your ult off here. Did you? Oh, Anivia's dead. Uh, nah. Anivia's dead there. If you got ult. Oh. Yeah, I got ult, but no. He does have Zonyas, <laughs> so maybe not, but still, you at least would, would have gotten his Zonyas. Your ulti will be yeah. up by the time you respawn anyway. Yeah, exactly. Just... So there's no reason not to. No. I need to be bad using my ult. Okay, your team ends up saving me. Your team gave you so many chances too to keep trying to carry. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Okay, right here. Good, we got our R off nicely. Good sidestep. Good Q. This is why I would make that weird flash. Yeah, flashing here, I don't. I thought I could hit Especially while you're slowed from Anivia, I think just saving the flash is better. Just keep walking at them, let your Zed get on them and slow them and be a nuisance. If you can get. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you get a little closer, it's okay. Because if you kill them, you get soul. So, uh, like, flashing for this play honestly isn't bad, but the timing that you chose to do it was bad. Yeah, I, I didn't think about the Nivea slow at all. Yeah. So then Dragon's up. You should be spam pinging Dragon also this entire time. Yeah. By the controller, we want to control and pit right away. Zed's fighting volley. Zed jukes. Okay, right when we get here, we're, we want to be control warding right where the, the head of this dragon is, basically. Into the mm. pit right now. We bought the controller because we're using it for the objective. <laughs> okay, Velkaz lands a really good stun here. You should be ulting this. That's a dead Volibear, I think. Nah, I can... If you I just think when I tried to hit him, yeah, she just stopped walking away. I think this is. I, this should be a dead Volibear, at least very close to dead. He should be at least one shot. He would have Velkaz lands the knockup. Perfect. You land a stun. Perfect. Walk at him. Yeah. Q I don't know why ult right there. Away. Instead, you like stutter stepped backwards and you went away, and Zed yeah, ends up not getting him. Yeah, he okay. went totally dead. That was a mess up, but you still have ulti, so it's still okay, whatever. Your stun's up in two. Stunning here. You should be stunning Anivia here. Looking for Q stun on Anivia. She doesn't have egg. She ends up getting that off. You lose Drake. We don't get our R off on Kane or Zhonya's. Because he didn't have damage on Yasuo, so he wouldn't have had anyone to R2 to dodge your ultimate. Because Kane has to damage somebody first. Yeah. So yeah, you are Zhonya's, he can't dodge. No. And he sure. probably, you probably pop his GA there. And then maybe you have a chance at cutting with Yasuo. Okay, we're going to clear top. This is fine. Baron's up. We see Kane in our blue side. Or red side, sorry. He's blue, Kane, not red. Okay. <laughs> Goes middle. Ezreal probably just dead here. Yeah. Oh, this is where you go for Lux and Int. So, stun on Lux, great, right here. Yeah. Good. But the moment the Lux E is down, you need to start cutting back from it. The stun is okay. It sets up your Zed to go for the ulti. So... She flashed in. Good stun. It sets up Zed for the ulti. Zed just kills. So there's no reason yeah, to walk uh, up there. You set up the Zed basically yeah. for the kill. So you want to stun that and then start like cutting away so you don't get a Nivea walled off. This is the problem why Nivea is good into champions like Syndra and Victor because you need to space very well. If you get walled off and you don't have flash, you're just dead, basically. Same thing for Victor. That's why I think Nivea is good into these kinds of champs because you need to be outside of our wall range so you don't get walled in. You want to be walled out, ideally. Yeah, I got it. So you're not in your R as well. Hey, we back. Mm -hmm. uh, you could have landed the... Oh, poor timing on the stun. Yeah. That's fine. I just wanted you to... Q-So was already there, so you only had to worry about timing just your stun. Yeah, I, I get that. That's fine. We TP here, which is honestly not bad. I think it's a fine TP. You're cutting them I off. think we get him as well? We end up getting him in the end. So I wanted you to blue trank it, like, here. Oh, there. All right. Because you know that's exactly where they're coming from, so you can see... You probably could have... You maybe could have dodged the Anivia stun. You Zonya this one? Oh, maybe. just barely. Yeah, he's off for the Lux ult, which is good. You finally did it. We're good there. 
But yeah, you could have maybe Blood dodged the Anivia stun if you, like, blue checked where they're coming from. You knew exactly where they were. We'll end up getting Kane in the end anyway. Okay, your Tiasso yeah, doesn't come. I don't know what's going on. We look for Oh, we look for Lux first, right? This is fine. Lux, and then immediately we need to be going Baron here. But then we see the TP, so we have to back. Yeah. Took Okay, yeah, so TPs, that's fine. Set goes back as well for some reason. He's dead cancelable Baron, so he may as well. Okay, we back, it's fine, whatever. If your team's not going to be coordinated enough to Baron, you can't really control that, but now they should be able nah. to Baron. Kane dead for three more seconds, Volley dead, Lux dead. Yeah. Your full HP, all you need to do is not let Kai'Sa really in. Kane just spawned so he can go through the wall. You want to be, you do have Leandri, so you want to be like, using all your stuff on this. We want to just, the moment Kai'Sa goes there, you should be R'ing and, stun and then stunning. Because you can't miss the R stun. No. You can always, Kai'Sa can always, R she has R dodge and E movement speed. So she can always dodge your just regular one ball stun. And then they just end up stealing it. Your goal isn't to really kill the Kai'Sa, it's zone her out. That's the main pro like thing right. you're doing. You're not looking yeah. to like go fight her, you're just looking to not let her get in auto range or W. Or like, get in anyhow, like walk in. Alright. And then that was just game. Yeah, it was game. 